I don't need to wait for the full review to say it. The Pixel is potentially the most significant smartphone of the year. Artificial intelligence, nearly perfect performance, and a camera that's almost too steady. If this is the future of Android, sign me up. But if it stays trapped in hardware this dull, sign me out. I'm Michael Fisher, and this is my first day with the Google Pixel. Okay, the Pixel's design is really uninspired. That'd be fine if this was just another Android, but it's not. It's the prototype for an entirely new class of smartphone made by Google, capital M, B, and G. And as such, I was expecting something memorable. But the Pixel just isn't. Now, you could say that a Google phone's hardware should fade into the background to better showcase the software. But that's not an automatic win here either. Over the past four years, we watched Android grow from the bold, Tron-like ice cream sandwich to the grounded tactility of material design. And now, with the Pixel launcher, we've got weird tabs and clumsy, inconsistent circle icons. Cosmetically, the Pixel feels devoid of personality, lacking in any risk or edge. It's a safe phone. So to me, it's a boring phone. But the personality of a smartphone is something only tech geeks think about, and the Pixel isn't meant for them. It's Google's latest attempt to build an Android for everybody. And in many of the places that matter, it delivers. You only need to use this thing for a minute to feel the difference in software performance, the one-to-one -one responsiveness, the utter lack of lag that reassures you with each swipe. And it's not just raw power, it's smart power. Google borrowed a page from Huawei, and now you can swipe on the fingerprint scanner to check your notifications, which I love. Long press on app icons to jump directly into certain features, like the iPhone's 3D Touch. If you end up having questions about any of this, there's 24-7 customer support right on the device. And then double-click the power button to jump into the camera and prepare to be stunned. I'm not talking about picture quality, dynamic range, or other technical aspects of the photos, though they look pretty good to my eye. Really, it's more about the handling. Even with HDR enabled, photos come out instantly. The viewfinder is as smooth and fast as the rest of the software, and tying the camera to the gyroscope for stabilization was a genius move. We've seen approaches like it before, but videos shot on the Pixel are almost always crazy smooth, and no matter how shaky your hands are. It's so good, in fact, that learning how to manipulate the phone in camera mode takes some getting used to, because the viewfinder picture is so steady that it almost feels like the phone is tripping up or lagging, and it's not. It's just keeping the picture steady. These are the concrete advantages I can point to after a day and say, yes, the first Google phone has something going for it. Some have pointed to the new Google Assistant as the real crown jewel, but it seems undercooked to me. Maybe when I'm done traveling, I can use it on a speedy network and see how it feels then. I'll also try to use the phone in both its available sizes, instead of just the big XL here, and in more engaging colors to see if I'm being too harsh about its dull design. But I do have an inkling of my overall conclusion, so here's a preview. The Pixel does a lot of things wonderfully, some for the first time on an Android phone. It'll sell better than any Nexus phone ever did and it'll probably motivate other manufacturers to step their game up too. All good things. But for a phone that starts at $650, it should at least be water resistant. And for a product charged with redefining what a Google phone can be, I wish it wasn't so afraid to stand out. More Pixel coverage from Mr. Mobile in the coming weeks, folks. Subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss it. And if you just can't wait, check out the comprehensive Pixel review from my friends at Android Central. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.